Hey, this is Sam Pitch from samofish.com and I'm with the lovely Corrine Streifland. And what we're going to do is we're going to teach you how to change the URL structure in your website. So when you, uh, down, when you download uh, WordPress and you put a new uh, website, by default, when you create a new page or post, uh, it'll, it'll come up like yourwebsite.com forward slash p equals 192. So it will show a number and currently that's what Corrine has. And so she actually wants, she needs, she needs to change it. You need to change it for two reasons. One, it's much more easier to tell somebody, hey, go to mywebsite.com forward slash contact or forward slash about rather than my website slash mywebsite.com forward slash p equals 186.9. Um, it's a lot harder <laughs> to remember. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we're in Corrine's back office of her WordPress site. It's looking lovely at the moment. And she wants to go to the left-hand side uh, uh, where the dashboard is and go under settings. So go, settings, the bottom, yeah. yes. And then you're going to go to permalinks, settings, permalinks. Setting permalinks. So, yeah. So if you want, if you yeah. go down back to settings and if you scroll down to settings, yes, yeah, scroll down. Oh, sorry, permalink. yeah, permalinks. Yeah. I thought I had to find it here. And sometimes okay. it comes across as well. So as you can see, at the moment it says plain. So um, oil love oilsloveheath.com for slash uh, question mark p equals one twenty three. And what you want to change it to is post name, which is the second last one. Oh, I, I'll put that here or I'll, oh, I'll do no, this. No, just click it, click it, and now yes. it's done. That's all you had to do. So now, every time you make a new page, it will actually be whatever the page name is, which oh. in terms of a Google structure is much, much better in terms of Google because, you know, it has that yeah. bit of SEO. We know what it is. And you just want to save changes. I want that. Okay, so let's see if this has worked. Can we please go to your website? So let's just go to you know your your normal page. Yeah, visit, visit site or yeah, visit or site. page? Just go to visit site. I would uh, create a new tab if you know how to do that. Like right click visit site. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Okay, well, let's click on about. About. Yeah. Okay, so let's see the URL of this site. So you can yeah. see now it says oilsloveheath.com forward slash about. Wonderful. Yeah. And now anyone can, can understand that and, and, and you can remember it too. So then you should have uh, oils, oilsloveheath.com forward slash blog, start here, contact, etc. Okay, good. Yes. Now, the reason why we came here in the first place because we wanted to make sure that uh, one of her pages didn't seem to be working. It was her contact page. So let's... Click on contact and see what happens. Okay, so ah. it can't seem to be found even though we've made a contact page. So 90% of the time that is a menu issue. But first of all, let's go and find the page itself. Uh, so I want you to go back to the dashboard. Dashboard, yep. And once we're in there, I want you to go to pages. Yep, and we're gonna go all pages. I wanna see all the pages. Yes. Okay. Here it is. So we have contact. Um, click on contact. Okay. So this is always have forward slash contact. So it's exactly what it should be. C O N T A. Well, that's spelled right. We can't do anything. That's all good now. Okay. So the page yes. itself looks right. If it's not working on the side, then that means that's a menu option, a menu problem. So we want to go to appearance, which is on the left-hand side of our dashboard, go to menus. Yep. Okay. There it is. Cool. I actually want you to click on contact with the little arrow pointing down. Okay. Well, let's just delete that for, for the time being. Delete it. You mean uh, remove? What remove. do I do? just oh, remove? remove. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. of course. I said the wrong button. Okay, and I want you to go back to the left-hand side where it says contact. Click it. 
Yep, added to menu. Oh, wow. Okay, we're just gonna re-add it, okay? So where it says right here, it says automate add new levels pages to this menu, and this is for the footer. Um, can you go to the top menu? Uh, select a menu yeah. to edit. It should, yeah, it yeah, says, I should click on that and go to main. First of all, save this just because you've got to save it first, and then um, oh, we'll, we'll, I had to, I have, I have to save it now, or yeah, did I have yeah, to save, save it now? Again? Because we've made a change. Okay. Every time you make a change, save it. Yes, sure. Okay, now we want to go to main. Um, select the menu um, to edit, and we'll go main. to main. Yep, and uh, press select. It should come up. Press select. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Yes. So it comes up. Okay, and this one has contact, so we want to remove that as well. We want to remove yes. all the old contact pages. Click it once on the arrow, yep, and then remove, remove. and then add the new contact. Yeah. Add to menu. Yep. Oh, sorry. No, it's, I it's added now. Well. <laughs> We've all done it. And then uh, oh. save menu. Menu, yes. Perfect. And it looks like you've also got it as uh, in the in one of the widget sidebars as well, correct? That's correct. Okay, cool. Can we just have a quick look at the widgets? So yes. go to to the left side. The widget. Widgets. Yep. Yeah. Right? Yep. Okay, so we got um, custom menu pages. Click on that one, yep. Go down, and it's using the main one. Great, save it. Just, yeah, save it one more time. Yes. Okay, now let's go to our website. Have a look at it. Like this visit site? Yep, visit site. Okay, let's so now I let's try it. Let's see if it works. Cross our fingers. There wow. you go. Contact works. Summit that I can assist in a taggy video like this. It's amazing. Okay, awesome. And let's just go awesome. to go, go. Let's go to the top one and just check that contact works as well. Wow. Okay, cool. It works. Fantastic. Um, Corinne did something really techy as well. She put in a ninja form in and look, it all looks beautiful right here. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it was a bit of, a, of an adventure. I actually didn't know if it would work or not. But if, if your menus aren't working, first of all, what we did was we changed the permalink structure from a default number to making it into a post name, making it the, the actual name of the page, makes it a lot easier to remember, makes it good for Google. And then we just made sure that we updated the menus to reflect the new page that we wanted to put in. Okay, and then it's, it seemed to work. So hope you enjoyed this video. We're gonna sign off. Corinne, do you have any last words to say before we go off? Thank you, Samit. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, awesome. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye.